so dear students welcome to turbo machines uh, today i am going to start the first module so the first module consists of two different parts the first one is uh, introduction part and uh, the second part of the first module is turbo dynamics of fluid flow so these two things that we are going to start uh, in this turbo machines right and uh, we will discuss one by one first we will see so what is the introduction right we will see the definition of turbo machine and the parts of a turbo machine so now let's take the definition of turbo machines uh, turbo machine is a device in which uh, energy transfer occurs between a flowing fluid and a rotating element due to dynamic action this results in change of pressure and momentum of the fluid. So, so what does it say? The turbine machine is a device in which energy transfer occurs between flowing fluid and a rotating element. So we will see one by one. So what exactly it is like. So, so to say that uh, there is a relation between um, a device uh, which transfers energy uh, between a flowing fluid and rotating element due to a uh, dynamic action that means so there is a connection between a flowing fluid and a rotating element right so this is all about uh, the energy transfer takes place between these two devices so there uh, that uh, power is developed so that is nothing but turbo machine so we will see in detail what exactly it is first and foremost we will see the parts of uh, turbo machine so this is the schematic cross-sectional area uh, view of uh, turbo machine. So this is the cut portion. And here we are clearly we see that uh, there is an inlet. Uh, through inlet water starts flowing. And uh, there is a rotor and rotor blades and uh, stator blades. There will be two different blades are there. But in turbo machines we will call it as blades or sometimes buckets or sometimes veins. So these are the different names given to it. All right, but here in this turbo machine, so there will be two different uh, types of blades are there. So one is uh, stator blade and next one is rotor blade. So stator is a static one. So it doesn't rotate or uh, revolve, but um, rotor blades will revolve or rotate. And um, so this stator is why it is used because it will, uh, uh, what you call, it is fixed and it will give way to the rotor blades and it will support and uh, to avoid the vibrations and to to, uh, to avoid damage of of the this rotor blades and all so these are the different uh, uh, so things that we need to understand so why these two different blades are there and there will be a housing and that housing will be there and uh, around that so it will uh, give a it will protect the blades so it will uh, prevent damage right and there is a shaft the shaft will be rotating and uh, and this, so that is connected to electrical generator or any other thing device so where so what is the uh, requirement for uh, that generating this power or something and next uh, the exit so water uh, hits the blades and then that it is uh, collected in the tail race so this is the schematic diagram of uh, this uh, turbines right so here you can see there is a single shaft in that single shaft rotor blades will be there and stator blades will be there so this is these are protected by uh, uh, stator or housing and there is a blade tip you can see in the picture and then uh, so there is an exit and the so uh, the remaining water which is collected over there it will come to the uh, through the exit okay so this is the arrangement of uh, turbo machines and this is the parts of turbo machine or you can see the cut portion of our schematic cross-sectional view of the turbo machine so we will see in detail so how things happen um, right so we'll see the principal uh, components of uh, turbo machine right so the first one is um, a rotating element and so we'll see in detail what we have seen in the diagram so we'll see in detail so first one is rotating element this rotating element is nothing but vane or impeller or blades as i told you right so sometimes it is called as a buckets right so why this rotating element is required because the operate it is a, it will operate in a stream of fluid right and um, so when water comes and hits the rotating element or vane or impeller or blades will rotate right so in so this is connected to shaft and stationary elements this i told you like stator or uh, what you call static uh, which is in static which won't rotate 
which usually guide the fluid in proper direction for efficient energy conversion process this only will give support or it will guide right next one is shaft so this is a shaft is nothing but a rotating element so when this impeller or rotor or blades which these are connected to shaft a single shaft so this uh, gives input power or takes output power from fluid under dynamic conditions and runs at required speed right so next housing as i told you this will give uh, uh, support or to keep various support uh, rotating or stationary and other passages under dynamic conditions of the fluid or uh, flowing fluid to keep stationary uh, rotating so all other passages it will uh, prevent uh, that uh, to damage all those this will give a, a kind of uh, housing right it will give it will give support or it will uh, prevent uh, damaging of this uh, blades so these examples for this um, turbo machine uh, is uh, what you call uh, steam turbine parts and uh, pelton turbine parts so right? so these are the thing, uh, what you call difference between and let's see now right so we have seen the definition part and then the parts of the turbo machine and uh, the the principle of uh, the principal components of turbo machine so here so what we need to understand by this so i'll just in a quick uh, way so i'll explain the what you call the working principle how does it work so by the now you know what exactly the principal components of turbo machine so now we will see the working principle of it so usually so water comes through inlet and uh, it passes through the rotor and uh, so there is a guide vanes and this will pa the water will pass through the rotor and first it will hit the rotor first it will hit the stator blades and that will guide the water to flow okay static so the first water comes and hits the uh, stator blades so then uh, that uh, the water will be guided by the stator blades and that is the water is directed to uh, rotor gates rotor blades so then the rotor blades start rotating so um, with what force or pressure uh, the in what intensity the water is coming and hitting the turbine blades so turbine blades start rotating and these turbine blades that arrangement that uh, rotor or state or the entire that uh, components which are mounted that is nothing but impeller so the entire impeller will start rotating and uh, then this impeller is connected to the shaft shaft is nothing but a mechanical element so whenever this uh, rotates so this, this is connected to shaft the shaft will also rotate and uh, the shaft which is connected to electrical generator or any other device to produce electricity so then uh, that the specific uh, requirement or the goal uh, uh, will is met by rotating the shaft the remaining water will be collected in the tail race or uh, it will pass through the exit through the blade tip so this is how the arrangement or the what you call the working principle of this uh, turbo machine will take place and uh, where and all we come across is hydral energy so we might have uh, learned this uh, hydral energy so water starts flowing and hits the turbine blades so all these areas this this uh, turbo machines uh, the what you call the entire uh, that uh, turbo uh, machine arrangement will be available it will be placed right and um, so next thing is right so in what are the different uh, ways what you call uh, so how that arrangement will be made we will see so the construction part of this uh, turbo machine so it is a uh, huge in construction and uh, so there will be different uh, types of uh, what you call it, the turbo machines are there and we will see one by one in but here so first and foremost we should know the principle the principle of it so this energy is converted from hydraulic energy to um, electrical energy or first hydraulic energy to mechanical energy and mechanical energy to electrical energy so this is the principle of the working principle so uh, so uh, we can say the principle of the turbo machine is to uh, it is converting that hydraulic energy or energy which is available in flowing fluid like water so hydral uh, hydraulic energy to 
mechanical energy why it is called as mechanical energy because shaft rotates shaft is a mechanical element so hydraulic energy is converted into mechanical energy and then this mechanical energy is connected to electrical energy because this uh, generator which is uh, nothing but the electrical generator is nothing but uh, uh, what electrical energy is pro the, pro pro it's, it's, it is used to produce electricity so this is the principle of this turbo machine so hydraulic energy is converted into mechanical energy and then mechanical energy is converted into electrical energy so this is all about the introduction part of this turbo machine so we have seen right the definition of the turbo machine and the parts of the turbo machine cut portion and then the principal components and the, the, the working principle of turbo machines right so thanks for watching this video